583,768 learners from 11,306 UNIP centers wrote their primary leaving examinations last year. Here in Kampala, 38,105 of these learners from 79 schools also wrote their 2022 primary leaving examinations. But of these learners, none scored aggregate four, much to the consternation of Lord Mayor Elias Lukwago. That you get a kid in Buganda Road and is a total failure, you are in grade U, that you have a kid in Chitante and you are in grade X, grade U. Lukwago blamed this situation on the presence of universal primary education in Kampala, stating that it had affected the quality of education offered in the city. To this effect, Kampala Lord Mayor Elias Lukwago urged government to consider doing away with the UPE program in city schools. I want to be on record. They should scrap UPE from Kampala. Yes. In 1997 and 2007, the NRM government introduced the universal primary and universal secondary education programs respectively with the objective of providing free quality education to the country's learners. But over the years, voices criticizing this free education program have increased with many people stating that it has failed on its objective of providing quality education. While interacting with a number of head teachers on this subject matter, the majority agreed that the UCE and UPE programs had met government's objective of providing free education and should therefore not be done away with. Because the purpose of the program is to benefit most of the people in the country who can't afford the highly pressed schools. The parents who have embraced it, the parents are benefiting from it because the bright students are passing and are benefiting from it. But they agree that the program has been beset by many challenges that have in turn affected the quality of education provided to learners. Much of the blame is placed on government's failure to provide enough resources to the schools under this free education program. It is failing to remit capitation grants on time. And you will find that even in some government schools, they are failing even to provide things like a, a practical lessons. Because of the low resources provided by government, some head teachers have now turned to asking parents for money to offer some of the needed services. But this move has always been deemed illegal by government, and many parents do not comply with the request. And according to the chairperson of the Association of Secondary Head Teachers in Uganda, Brother Augustine Mugabo, the head teachers are also not entirely blameless. You don't give them numbers that you have in school, they end up guessing, and at the end of the day, you get wrong figures, and you know the results of wrong figures. In order to resolve some of the challenges facing the UPE and USE program, Head teachers now believe that it's time government rethinks the free part of this education program. We need cost sharing such so that at least the parents they know that they are also uh, touching a certain percentage. Otherwise, things things are not moving on well. I think parents should come up and contribute, especially in terms of food for their children and maybe some component of scholastic material to make it better. This will allow the parents to be more interested in the program and monitor its output, much like it's done in the private education sector. Be a lot of sensitization on the side of the parents so that they get to know their role as parents towards the education of their children and they get to know the value in it and they get involved in the real teaching and learning, in the real learning of their children at school. This is in addition to government itself increasing on the capitation grant given to UPE and USE schools. Especially because of the cost of living has to be lifted. Uh, it can't stay as constant as it, as it started because the cost of living is high. In response, the State Minister for Higher Education, Jesse Muyingo, points out that all these opinions will be considered by Cabinet on its discussions around education in the country. All these ideas, Cabinet is going to consider. All these ideas. And whatever will come from Cabinet will be communicated to the public. 
In 2021, the Ministry of Education instituted the Education Policy Review Commission to draft a new macroeconomic policy for education and sports in Uganda, which will replace the current government white paper on education of 1992. Joyce Nakato, NTV Weekend Edition.